Hi guys, it's Ray Newland here, the founder of Just For Keepers. I want to say a massive thank you for trusting me and J4K come to this course, on the, this free video course on how to become mentally strong as a goalkeeper. If this is the first time you've stumbled on this uh, free video course, there's a link below, just simply click it. As I say, it's a completely free of charge, okay? Other organisations charge for this, but whenever we can, J4K, Just For Keepers, we will do it for free. If you're a goalkeeper who wants to become a professional goalkeeper or get a college scholarship, you need to become mentally strong guys, okay? Full stop, okay? If you're not mentally strong as a goalkeeper, the chances of you making the grade is very, very slim. But the great news is, you can work your mind just as well as you can work, you know. So for example, if you want to become better at coming for a cross or better at your distribution, practice, 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 it's the same with your mind exactly the same guys so there's good news there you can train your mind like you can train your body also as well please make sure that you get a pen and paper please don't think for one moment okay just by watching this video once this is going to help it's not professional goalkeepers and international goalkeepers all these topics that i'm teaching you now they visualize it they practice it every single day even though they're playing international it's that important guys okay yeah unfortunately 95 percent of goalkeepers won't do it Okay, only 5% will. Okay, so make sure that you're in that 5% guys. Okay, yeah, seriously. Okay, so what's this topic all about today? Well, to me, this is arguably one of the most important topics I'm going to teach, and that's visualization. Okay, so you might say, what the hell is visualization? It's a bit like daydreaming, but with, with a purpose, okay? Now, also, just to quickly digress, uh, there was a famous golfer, it was, I think it was Jack Nichols, if I remember rightly. He was, he was once asked by a presenter, TV presenter, what's the best game of golf you've ever played? And his answer was, every game that I play in my mind on the airplane going to my next tournament, okay? So think about that, what's the best game of golf that you've played? And his answer was, every game that I play in my mind on the airplane going to the next tournament. What he was speaking about there was visualization. And he went on to speak about, you know, he was visualizing having the best shot, feeling good about himself, uh, you know, feeling walking tall, walking proud, you know, uh, feeling proud of what he's achieved, you know, getting holding ones, etc. Okay, yeah. So going back to, to football and soccer, how can visualization help you? So hopefully that quick example helped. So you need to visualize the best saves, the best soccer matches and football matches that you play, guys, okay? So how do you do that? Now, whatever you do, don't do it in a game, <laughs> okay? You don't want to be daydreaming while the, 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 the opposing team is running towards you. And that might give your coach a heart attack, okay? Generally you do it throughout through the week, spend 10 minutes a night, that's all you need to do, but especially before a game, the night before a game, and when you wake up in the morning time, visualize it. So this is what I used to do guys, okay? When I used to, the night before, before I, I, I could, we used to obviously play for Saturday, I used to visualize coming for crosses. So I'd visualize the, wi the winger coming down the right hand side, the left hand side, I'd visualize them uh, crossing the ball from the halfway line, uh, from the 18 yard uh, area, from the, by the corner flag, out in swingers, out swingers. Literally I'd go for, for, for basically coming for the cross, because when I played it was important that you come for crosses. In this day and age it's 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 a lot easier I think to be honest with you. When I played you had to be good coming for crosses. So we used to visualise all the time, every angle uh, possible. Also as well I used to visualise every shot coming in, bottom corner, top corner, in swingers, out swingers and myself being in the right position, you know, before the shots, moving my feet correctly, diving full length, making those saves. Always in my mind as well, I'd never touch anything over the bar. I'd always try and hold everything. Uh, guys okay yeah uh, uh, again saving penalties so to, to, so to get me point here guys every scenario that you you know that you can think of and remember scenarios as well again going back to one of the videos that I've done regarding making mistakes and I said that'll help you obviously you know how how, how do you get over making mistakes well what you want to do is let's say for example you know you, you've come for a cross and you've missed the cross uh, in a game and it's cost your your, your team a goal well, visualize that over and over again. So visualize yourself coming for that cross, but this time you catch it. And I'm not going to go into too much detail or go weird on you. Your mind does not understand the difference between reality and what goes on in your mind. Okay, yeah? It's called your subconscious. I'm not going to go into it, guys, because you might think it's gone a bit weird, but it works. So if you basically go over and over in your head, seriously, 20, 30, 40, 50 times, 
what you thought you should have done, but this time you visualize yourself catching that ball cleanly, catching it, knocking everyone for six, you know, screaming keepers, coming out, I say putting your knee right into the centre back, right into the back of the centre back, flattening them so you, you hurt them so they don't come back for more and you catch that cross cleanly. You that you do that forty, fifty times guys. You again it's like a like a computer. You sort of reset it. That's what I should have done. So what'll happen then is hopefully next time that scenario that computer that you visualised will come and come and do it. And it, again I'm gonna say something now and if you speak to any uh, athletes, whether it's soccer, basketball, American football, baseball, rugby, lacrosse, they will back me up what I'm going to say next, okay? I've played in soccer football matches and soccer matches where I've visualised a cross coming in uh, and I've literally come for that cross exactly how I did it in my, in my mind the night before. Or a shot come in, you know, I've been, I've, I've, uh, I've been obviously up in the goal and someone's tried to kill the ball top right, right around me defenders, top right. And I visualised exact, honestly guys, seriously, exactly how I could see the, see the guys coming in, how when they shot I made my move, how I moved my body, how I took off, how I caught it. I even visualised the applause of the crowd. That's very important. Visualise the, the obviously you know the success of your achievements if that makes sense. Going back to mistakes that I've made as well, where I've sort of re re reprogrammed myself. This is what I should have done. This is what, what I've done. Happened to me, guys. Seriously, more than on a few occasions, whether it's a cross or a shot, where I fumbled a shot, for example, where it's come through players on a, on a wet surface and have dropped, let let the ball go, only let it go out a few yards, and unfortunately, an attacker was there to tap it in. I've had a similar scenario where it's exactly the same shot come in, but this time because I reprogrammed myself through visualization, this time I held that ball. Okay, yeah. Now again, that might sound completely nonsense, guys, but do a bit more research. I think this is so vital to your success. Do some research on visualization. If you can, try and speak to other sports. Basically, don't. I don't mean to be nasty to the people that have not made it, but try and find someone that you know they've walked their talk, and I assure you. What I have told you, they will say, listen, that's happened to me as well. Visualization is one of the only, obviously when you make a mistake, you can practice it on the training ground, but you can also practice it in your mind as well, guys, okay, yeah. So it's something like, for most people, most goalkeepers and parents and goalkeeping coaches probably don't understand that. Okay, so it's called visualization, guys, okay. I could go into about this topic for the next two hours. Honestly, guys, I've got that much of a passion for it. But what I want you to do is just watch this video a few times, guys, because it's that important. Then also as well, just research the topic of visualization because on the internet, there'll be loads of exercises, what you can do to visualize. The better you become a visualization, guys, and improving your game through your mind, the stronger the chances of you achieving your goalkeeping dream. Remember guys, I've said this in a few videos, 95% of goalkeepers won't, won't do this, okay? Because they think, ah, I'm too easy, or a load of nonsense, or I don't need that. Don't be in the 95%. Be in the 5%, be above average, okay? So I hope this tip helped, guys. This is Ray Newell, wishing you the best of goalkeeping.